Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. What's up, Javier? Who you got here with you today, bud? What's going on? Brother. Is your brother? What's your name, dude? Raymond. Raymond. How do you say that in Spanish? Ramon. Ramone. Okay. <laughs> so what's up, man? We putting a vinyl top on our car today, dude? Yes, we are. And you know how to do that, right, Javier? Sure do. I mean, you've done it before. It's, is it your first go around, or? No, it's not. Okay. Okay, bud. What we gotta do? Is plastic it off? Yeah, it off. Go ahead and get the vinyl top off. So what we got to do, we got to plastic coat the car because we don't want to get no overspray from the glue. the glue. Now, if you look right here, you can see the headliner material. Now, that's a pearl white, okay? And what Javier is going to do is he's going to actually put that on the car. And what do you do to do that, Javier? What's the first, I mean, what kind of... What kind I'm gonna of scuff this up just a little bit so the glue can. Uh, gonna scuff it down. Can catch. And I'll spray the headliner. Okay, what kind of glue are you using top. on that, bud? What kind of glue uh, do you use? 3M uh, contact adhesive. And you spray that on. You don't roll it on with a roller or a brush. All right, for people at home, can they actually roll it on with a brush or? Yes, they can. But they got to do both surfaces, right? Both surfaces. They got to do the top and and the and the, and the material and the material. Because that's actually what makes it stick. If you just do the top only, it won't stick. It'll stick, but later down the line, you'll get bubbles and all kinds of shit. And it will come off. You'll be screwed, especially right around this edge here where it wraps under the windshield and the chrome, right? Yes. So when you put a headliner on, do you know anything about headliners, Ramon? Yeah. Okay, when you guys put a headliner on, do you actually wrap it around the edge here where it's, or cut it down in here so it'll wrap around? Or? Yes. Yeah, we. we Take these clips off, put them on there, on there, and then cut for the clips. So you're gonna take all the clips off, okay? And then what about right here in the uh, rain, the gutter rail here? What happens there, bud? Okay. What we do, we we uh, glue all to the edge. Uh huh. Then the the painted body guy comes and seals it with the uh, with the clear uh, uh, sealer that goes in there. Silicone. Silicone. And then uh, the chrome molding pops over it. Correct. So you're going to cut it off, basically, you're going to cut it right here at this lip right here. Correct. And then when the chrome molding goes on, it'll actually go over the vinyl over top. The vinyl top. Yeah. Okay. okay, putting a vinyl top on is pretty much a cut and dry situation. Uh, all you got to do basically is clean it up with scotch Bright, tape it off, glue it, and put it on. So you think, anyway. Once the contact cement has dried on both surfaces, okay where when you feel it to the touch okay and you can't feel it sticking to your fingers it actually sticks to each other and that's the tricky part is putting it down without getting bubbles in it because once you pull it up what happens is the glue pulls up with it and then you're really fucked so watch listen and learn and you might know how to do this at home All right, what they're doing, they're uh, fitting it on there, getting it properly adjusted. And it Hold on, what's that, Ramon? What, you got it, something to say? It, we're getting it centered. You're getting it centered up? We're measuring the top. So I saw that, dude. I saw you measuring that and marking yeah. it off. What's going on there? What? Yeah, we're trying to center the top so we can get lines even on both sides. Because once you set that on there with the contact cement, it's not like That's you can it. lift it off. That's it. It's not going to move no more after that. Because if you pull it up, it pulls all the glue with it, right? That's right. Then you're really fucked up. That's right. Now, once you put that on there, let me ask a question. Of you. All the wrinkles and the lines will come out, right? Huh? Yes. Got to steam it as we put it so we can get the wrinkles out. Well, you got a steamer. Yeah. Wow. So... To do it the professional way, you need a steamer, right, Ramon? That's right. Get all, all them wrinkles out. If you don't have a steamer, 
you're kind of screwed. It's a lot of stretching and pulling. If you're lucky. You have to redo it again. Pull it all off. And we're not talking redoing it. We're talking buying a whole brand new top. That's right. Just about. Am I so putting the top really on is not wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. Huh? No. Love you. We're not. You, we're not going down the pole, so I can go ahead and cut this off. I don't really care. Okay. As long as you got it centered up. That's basically what. I see what you mean, centering it up. Oh, you want these lines to be centered up too? Correct. It's got the seams on both sides. On both sides, exactly, so bud. It cannot be. So do you measure the top of the car and then you measure those, or you just kind of eyeball it out and you know you because no, you know we measure the top of the car. You do? Yeah, the top of the car has to be measured so both. Especially with this guy, bud, because this guy's picky. Okay, what he's doing, he's finding the center of the car and then he's going to measure back because that's where the seam's going to go to make sure that the seam enters up right in the center of each side. Because on a particular car like this, the owner will measure it out. It's finding the edge, and that's a very important step in installing the vinyl top. Measuring the top off is a precise part of putting a vinyl top on. You have to make sure that all the lines match up, especially on a car like this. It's a very touchy situation. This is mainly what it's all about. So what's your next step, uh, Javier? What's going to go on next? Huh? Take it off. Make sure the lines are so we can get the straight line. Oh, okay. Now, why is he? Why you're gonna lay that tape? This side. On this side. This line on, on the. Okay. The, the, the arrows right here. I'm gonna put this one on the. Yeah. Line. Okay. Got it. Okay. Hold up. Okay. Okay. They're putting some tape down so they can make sure that the top is lined up perfectly on the vehicle. I'll pull the tape off as they glue it down. Because this is actually called, this is a three piece. Look right there, you can see that the lines are measured perfectly on each side. And that's just a guideline they're using to put the top on the car. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.